StormKit helps web teams to save valuable time by simplifying deployments and application management. Let's move on and show how. Once logged in with your favorite provider, you will see a list of applications you have already created. Adding a new application is just a matter of a few clicks. Just tell us where your code base is located, grant StormKit access, and then select the repository. We will prepare all you need to have an awesome developer experience in just a few seconds. By default, StormKit creates an application with the product environment already set. You can create as many environments as you need with a single step. For instance, you could create a QA environment that is used to test your application against a non-production database. All you have to do is provide the build configuration from the UI. You can also change these settings at a later time. Once you have configured your environment, you can easily deploy your application by clicking on the Deploy button. StormKit will check out the branch and run the commands that are specified in the build configuration. After a few moments, your application is ready to preview. With StormKit, each deployment has its own endpoint. This, for instance, allows you to share the progress with your customers or with your PM. Let's move on and preview this version. Here, you see a beautiful e-commerce store with a navigation bar and some items on sale. However, what you don't see is that there is a hidden button, which is configured to be shown only when the variant feature flag is activated. Let's head back to our application and explain what we mean. On the Deployments page, you see a blue icon next to the second deployment. It means that all of your users see this version of the application. Publishing a new version is as easy as hitting a button and specifying the percentage of traffic that you'd like to redirect. Let's publish this to 5% and voila, it's live. Let's check here and see our published version. As you can see, we still see the old version because we fall to the 95% bucket. Let's move on and enable the button now. On the top right of the screen, you can see the remote configuration link. Let's click on that. In this page, you can easily configure your application by providing key value pairs. These values will be available to your application by using our open source StormKit slash API NPM package. In order to enable the button, let's provide the variant key mentioned before with the deployment ID of the new version. When we check our application and refresh the page, we should see the Try Out the New Version button on the top right of the screen. With StormKit, it's super fast and easy to enable or disable features. When we click on this button, we should be brought to the new version. Now, apart from that lucky 5%, also your curious users can test the new version of the application. Congratulations! StormKit makes deploying and managing your apps dead simple and fun. Start using it now to discover many other features that are not covered in this tutorial, such as server-side rendering, log management, and team collaboration. And follow us on Twitter.